Marie was huge fun. She had the best parties and she drank and she smoked and she had lovers and I adored her. From the very beginning, she showed her determination to get stories in the most difficult circumstances. She was driven not to deliberately seek out danger for the adrenaline rush, um, but to get to the heart of uh, the distressing things that go on in war and expose the, the misery. To me, Marie's courage was all the more impressive for the fact that she was very scared in dangerous situations. She didn't always put on a brave face, but she was driven by an evangelical sense of mission. She was passionately concerned to highlight the suffering of civilians caught up in violent conflict. She believed that if those things went unreported, that politicians and military leaders could act with impunity, and that by reporting them, she might help to prevent some atrocities. Marie was straightforward, honest, direct, never happier than when she was out in the field and one of the world's great danger spots, never that happy when she was in the office. She was very easy to get on with. Office politics didn't really interest her very much. The office didn't interest her very much, in fact. Uh, all she really cared about was the job. Indeed, the job overwhelmed everything for her. She would climb over walls and hide in trenches and muddy ditches and do everything to get the story. And I think that what drove her on was anger against injustice. There have been a couple of times when she's got into real trouble and I was involved in rescuing her at the request of the Sunday Times uh, when she was in che Chechnya first of all. Uh, she had to run the gauntlet uh, through the Russian lines, through the snow, into Georgia and I went out to assist with her evacuation by helicopter. But that showed her her, her true determination to cover those sort of conflict stories. I think Marie's last assignment speaks volumes about her. We discussed whether she should go into such a dangerous place. We agreed that she should because the story was important and nobody was really telling it. But there came a point where it became so dangerous that she and I had to discuss how quickly she should get out. I wanted her to think about getting out. In fact, on the night of the day she died, she was arguing that she should be allowed to stay for the week because it was such an important story and at that time she was the only international journalist there to tell the story. And there's a journalism that is brave and essential and necessary in a democracy that enriches society, that makes us a better society. And Marie was an exemplar of that kind of journalism. I remember calling Marie in America in 2001 after she had been injured in Sri Lanka and she had lost her eye. And uh, she was just about to have an operation and she was, she was hoping that she'd be able to preserve the eye. She knew she wouldn't be able to preserve her eyesight. And uh, she said that one of the problems was that it was difficult to cry. And she wanted to cry because she had received so many letters from Tamils in Sri Lanka offering to donate an eye for her. And she found that, it, it, as I did, extraordinarily moving. She was one of the boys, but she had this wonderful feminine side of her, but didn't want to be regarded as special because she was a woman uh, or anything like that. She was better than all of us or most of us, um, and she was just very, very much loved and would be very sadly missed.